كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We can talk for days about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We can talk about his character. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ That indeed you are built upon a great character. And one of the characteristics of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was that he always stood up for what was right. He loved anything that was just and he hated injustice. And before prophethood, I'm talking like in his late 20s, maybe early 30s, the Prophet Muhammad was raised in an environment where injustice was rampant. In fact, one day, a man from a lower socioeconomic class went to Mecca trying to make a living for himself, trying to make some trade, and he was cheated in that business transaction. The person took the goods and they did not, they refused to pay for those goods. So this man now, wanting help, he went to people in Mecca who he thought were his allies. People where he thought he can get help from them. And unfortunately for this man, no one was there to help him. No one was there to stand up for the right thing. So he went up to the mountains and he was reciting loud verses of poetry, speaking about the injustice that he suffered on that day. And the leaders of Quraysh, the leaders of Mecca, they were hearing this. And they said, that we have to do something about this. This has to stop. This injustice must come to an end. So the leaders and the honorable of Mecca, they gathered together. And amongst them was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was actually one of the youngest people of this, of this group. And together, they put forth a confederacy known as Al-Fudul Confederacy. And this Hilf Al-Fudul in Arabic basically was a promise with each other and with the land that they were going to stand up for the rights of others stand up for the rights of the weak stand up for the rights of the poor stand up for the rights of the orphans because they were no longer going to tolerate injustice and this was before the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, became a prophet right this was before the message of Islam was given to him but even after later in his lifetime when he was a prophet when the message of Islam was given to him when the Quran was being revealed to him, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, looked back on this day of Hilf al Fudul. He looked back and he looked back at the crew, the people that were with him on that day standing up for the right thing. He spoke so well about this group, he spoke so well about that day, and he said that even if I was invited to something similar, now that I'm a prophet, I would still go and join even if it's with non Muslims. Because at the end of the day, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, always stood up for justice, always stood up for the right thing, no matter who it was, no matter what religion they followed, no matter the color of their skin or how much money is in their bank account, he always wanted to uh, protect people from being wronged. I hope you liked this week's video. I ask Allah Azza wa to make us of those who can stand up for the right thing, to make us of those who can uh, be a difference maker in the world and to give us success in this life and the next. Please. Don't forget to hit the like button, remember to subscribe, and inshallah we'll see you next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.